howdy viewers thank you for returning if you are returning and if this is your first time you might want to consider subscribing because it helps out the channel and I post a lot of great videos Brad proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video a while back I did a video about getting a perfect bull hide and of course, you can get a perfect cow hide the same way. You just basically go to a farm and shoot the livestock. But there is a negative to that. Arthur gets some negative um, karma, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it, it sucks. You can also do the same for goats. I unfortunately didn't do a goat video, but this is going to be for sheep. And the easiest way to do it is go to Emerald Ranch and poach some sheep at night. So let's get on with some perfect sheep pelts. Now, like I said, you wait until nighttime and you go to Emerald Ranch. Easiest way to do it. And you go to the sheep pens and you want to use regular arrows and well shoot the poor little critters in the head Okay, there's some guy looking for his dog, and I can see him out there. He hasn't seen Arthur yet, but this is why you go to the sheep area in Emerald Ranch at night so you are not seen, and you use a bow because, yeah, the gun will attract attention. And what could happen is you end up getting um a wanted level for poaching sheep you know killing other someone else's livestock which isn't good and yeah you get in trouble with the law and i already think i showed that in the perfect bull pelt but now you can throw it on the back of your horse and if you need to get a couple well you can just run back and yeah my horse is following me if you want to stop your horse from following you because it could draw attention you just left trigger it you brush it or feed it and you pat it and it will stay where it is and it won't follow you now i'm going to go back and get a couple more sheep pelts because you need these for crafting some of the items of the trapper. And now that I know how to get in, I'm going to get a couple more sheep. Along with the perfect sheep hide, you're going to get some grizzled mutton. Now, I'm doing this a couple times because actually there are a few items that can be made by the trapper that I might get a complete set of the clothing. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to go hunting and make stuff with the trapper. But to be honest with you, my advice is do it. Because when Arthur dies, John 
inherits everything Arthur has, including all the, uh, how shall I say, uh, trapper-made items and items that were crafted by other people. And it, they can be very useful. Otherwise, yeah, you don't have to do this. But this is the best way to get perfect sheep hides. Now, I'm going to kind of zip over to St. Denis and the trapper and show you what all this effort will get you. Once you get to the trapper, you can sell him the three hides. And once you sell him those three hides, you can craft something out of it. And let's see, I'm going to go through the garment sets. I already have these. I don't have all the dream catcher. But there are some garment sets there which you will need a perfect sheep pelt. Yeah, that's not it. The stalker, nope. Yeah, the ghost bison, I think I already have everything. Oh, legendary. Yep, this is where you need a perfect sheep pelt because now I can have the ghost bison, all the wonderful, um, how shall I say, handmade wonderful stuff by the trapper. I've got a complete set. And that's why you really just need a perfect sheep pelt is for various items like this one, trapper's cloak, etc. Yeah, again, you'll have to go kill some livestock, which is sad. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video informative and helpful, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to um, leave some comments. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you'll be informed when I post videos because I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some specials, and you don't want to mess out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.